So my brother and I purchased about six totes or so and a board from a man, well, the, from a man who, whose father used to own a local uh, train repair shop, hobby enthusiast shop, whatever you call it. And it sat a couple times away, sat empty for a long time since the dad got sick. But we got, I really just wanted the O-Gage stuff, but I gave a whole bunch of this HO, this O-Gage, but we got a whole bunch of HO stuff with it too. Um, not everything's really anything I was looking for, but I'm, for 200 bucks, you really can't beat it. I'm glad I got the, the whole uh, Santa Fe O-Gage. These transformers need, uh, need a steel wire from something to rewire them, make sure they're good to go. Pretty stoked about these guys though. Well, that guy, anyway. I already tested all the the Santa Fe and all the cars back there, they work. This one had a, looks like a C-cell, C battery that you, you know, exploded back there. And these guys, these are, let's say 1110, I think. They're both 1110, so. Dime, dime a dozen on them. And then there's this thing, this is a, a Marklin. Between the track being dirty and me not knowing what I'm doing, a um, little work to be done on it. But here, this is the only engine I get to go, because it took me forever to figure out that there's like a third rail on these tracks. I had like Tyco and Lionel's when I was a kid on these, but one, I've always been on O-Gage, and, and two, I, you know, when I had the HO, it was, it was never this. But anyways, I mean, cleaning the track all night, I can now get this guy to go from here all the way to getting stuck in that tunnel. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Fun stuff.